Cub Scout Eric. Welcome back to my Cub Scout Studio. And today, guys, we're going to be, um, I did in the other video how to make a rocket. So now the day has finally come. I want to say a big um, thank you to E-Rockets for sending us enough rockets for my whole pack. This is going to be awesome tonight. So now we're going to prepare the rocket for lunch. So now we need to grab the wadding. And we, we kind of want to shove it up here because it says three to four of them. So we're going to shove them up. So this prevents the parachute from for catching on fire. Let's push that down. So now we just wanna put like the little band in it and the rocket body part of it. If the wadding is too tight in there, it'll it won't the parachute will just stay in there and when it goes up, it will come down or maybe it will just blow up when it hits the ground. So you guys can just spit it out. So why the wadding is so important is because it, it doesn't melt the parachute from the hot gases from the motor. So once you have the rubber band in the rocket, now you're ready to do the parachute part. So I kind of, so make sure it's not tangled and it's attached to the parachute. So you want to kind of go like that, and then you want to do it one more time, and then you kind of want to put some string in it and leave some string out, and then grab from the top, and then you want to grab some like that, and you keep on doing it until it actually um, can fit inside of here. Now you want to put it in the body of the rocket, like this. So now we have our two rockets. We need to put the motors in. This one has a five second delay, and this one has a no second delay. So we're going to put it in like this. most important part is the hole. So this is the thing that lets it go up in the air and it explodes in the like. <laughs> so now we need to put the igniter in the hole like this. And now we need to grab the plug and plug it in. It's time to do the little part. So now you want to put it in with the hole that has the hole. So you want to put it in like that. If you do it this side, it will probably it, it won't even go up in the air. It will just explode with flames and all that. So you want to put it on halfway because this little metal piece keeps the motor staying there. So now let's go to the launch site. So guys, we have a really big surprise that the pack has no idea what's gonna happen. So we have a Hyperbat. This this thing goes 2,000 feet up in the air and it has dual motors. It can carry two motors. So it carries these two motors. And a regular rocket, what everybody has, carries one motor and it goes 400, and 400 feet up in the air. They're not gonna know what hit them. 